How's it going, everybody? My name is MDKW LAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today I'm coming to you with my quick and dirty method of installing proprietary drivers to Arch Linux, um, specifically the Catalyst drivers, Flexgar, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, GitHub.com slash MDKW LAN slash ArchAMD.get is what you would use. Git clone that URL, and you get this. Uh, inside the folder, it has the license readme the shell script that you're going to run, the my make init CPIO, the pacman config, and the radon.config that you add to your modules load.d. Um, feel free to read the look at the readme. I want to look at the shell script and explain things here. Everything is commented out to explain everything that is done here. Um, this is a very quick and dirty method of doing this. This is not by any means a very good example of how uh, Bash should be written in any way, shape, or form. So when you download this, you have the chmod uh, 777, 775, or just plus X, make it executable, and run it as root. First command it does, copy over the pacman config, and overwrites your pacman config. Um, this pacman config file has multi-lib support, xorg 15, not 16, and the catalyst repositories. Second command adds the radon config from the folder to your modules load.d. This blacklists the radon, FOSS drivers, and adds flexor. Um, third command copies over my making it CPIO and overwrites yours. All this does is add, it adds no mode set to disable KMS. After all that's done, uh, pacman key.r, um, that whole thing, it's volos key for verifying. Um, just in case that doesn't work, I also added the local sign. Um, I normally always locally sign everything because I've had some issues with the other one. Um, we do an update to pull down, you know, all the new repos that we've added. We install everything with Pacman Tech S and this gigantic long list of files that are needed. The ATI config initial is uh, to set up xorg. Um, uh, properly for AMD and then the system control enable catalyst hook catalyst hook um, rebuilds your make init CPIO every time so that catalyst doesn't become an issue with a new kernel and start just enables it so that it runs make init CPIO for you so <coughs> like I said that's a very quick and dirty and very fast explanation I've made this video about 30 times now and I keep getting interrupted so I'm just trying to run through this. Um, this is on GitHub. Feel free to fork it. Feel free to put your own pull requests in and edit it to your heart's content. Um, I might shoot some video from my phone of me installing Arch and using this. Maybe. Um, it all depends. But like I said, this is a very quick and dirty method. Um, there's a few notes I wanted to add. The Pac-Man config file is based off of Central, uh, Central North America, so if you have a problem with the mirrors, um, download Reflector, and then Reflector will update your mirrors, which really shouldn't be an issue because the Pac-Man config file doesn't hold your mirrors. All it does is it holds repositories, um, because if you can see here, your core um, forwards to your Etsy Pac-Man.d mirrors list, so that really shouldn't be an issue. Um, the Pac-Man config, like I said, this is not for pure 64-bit machines. It will work if you're on x86 machines, but it's kind of pointless to have multi-lib enabled on an x86 machine because you have no possible way of running 64-bit code. Anyway, um, the make init CPIO is j just to disable KMS. The Arch Wiki suggests that KMS is disabled so that you don't run into problems with Catalyst. It's not a giant issue if you don't want KMS disabled. You might need KMS enabled for some other thing, depending on your build of Arch. In the radon config file, blacklists um, the FOSS drivers. So when KMS is disabled and the radon config file or radon drivers are disabled, your machine has no other choice but to go with Flexor. In this situation, if Catalyst ever decides to break, that means you have no graphics drivers. So, doing this 
doing it this way is the proper way of doing it, and I put proper in quotations, but um, if your catalyst ever fails for any reason, you're going to have no video card support, which means you basically have a broken install of Arch if that ever happens. Like I said, when you download this, chmod77 or plus x to run it, be sure that you're inside the directory when you do dot slash, obviously, and make sure you run it as root. Um, in a further revision, I'll probably add sudo to it, but it's kind of redundant to add sudo because I'm assuming from this, you're, you installed Arch, you restart it, and now your, your goal is to um, get your graphics card working which is normally the first thing you do after an install of Arch. Um, so that's basically what this is. Um, feel free to use it to your heart's content. I would show it off, but uh, so far it's worked perfectly fine for me. Um, I've had this hosted on a server that I've been using for a long time, and I've just I pushed out to GitHub, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this will get some attention and we can get some better revisions and a better way of installing Catalyst without having to clone th three files and then make a shitty sh shell script for it. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, please be nice about my bash scripting. It's not the kindest in the world. <laughs> anyway, uh, take care, guys.